Hello, my beautiful cancers. Welcome to your love forecast horoscope for what do they secretly want to tell you? And I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing. And thank you to all my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And I did post some new member content on there on YouTube. So that's where you can find it. Um, also, if you guys are a fan of the mysteries or unsolved true crime stories, you can check me out on my second channel, GWZ Mysteries, and all the information is in the description box below. And also, I know some of you guys asked me in the comments, how do I contact you or get a reading with you? It would be jenniferwalkers.com or check out the link in the description box below. All right, so first we're going to talk about, okay, what do they secretly want to tell you? Okay, I'm going to look at the blockages in the connection, the influence of the connection, and the advice. And then stick with me till the end, guys, because I'm going to ask a yes or no question for whatever you want to know, okay? So if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. Let's jump right in. All right, so what does Cancer's love interest, the one they're here for, the one they want to know about, what is Cancer's love interest secretly want to touch Cancer's? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. So let's take a look. All right, I'm going to do two lines of five. All right. Make sure I straighten this out here. Okay. All right, so we got the Temperance, we got the King of Pentacles, we got the Empress, the Nine of Swords, and we got the Ten of Cups. The blockage is the Page of Swords. Okay, the Knight of Pentacles is the influence, and the Eight of Wands is the advice. So let's first take a look at this. So could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy as part of the blockage could be a child involved in the situation because a lot of times I do see pages as children, okay? Or immature energy or naivete, okay? Or someone needs to see something from a different perspective, okay? New ideas, new perspective. Like they need to think a little bit outside of the box. That also could be the case too with that page of swords energy. But let's get more information here. All right, so for my cancers, why is the page of swords here? Thank you. There is like, yes, this strongly. Okay, so there was some kind of argument, fight, or frustration. Why else is the Page of Swords here? Why else is the Page of Swords here? Why else is the Page of Swords here? Okay, thank you. Okay, people are involved in this situation, and there's some healing that needs to happen. Okay. So the influence is some overanalyzing Knight of Pentacles energy. It could be Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Why is the Knight of Pentacles here for the influence? Okay, thank you. Your cards just want to pop out today. There's a lot of overthinking. Okay, that's straightforward. About the actions. Why else is the Knight of Pentacles here? Why else is the Knight of Pentacles here? Show my cards you need to see. Show my cards you need to see. Okay, why else? So there's a lot of overthinking about a blessing, uh, about someone wanting a blessing, needing a blessing, or there is a, a, a spiritual sign of spiritual confirmation here. There is a person that's able to see the bigger picture, or the bigger picture is being shown. Okay, is the influence. Okay. Why is the Eight of Wands here for the advice? So Eight of Wands can talk about communication. Eight of Wands can talk about putting energy behind the situation. Eights can talk about effort or work. So why is the Eight of Wands the advice? Okay, so some resolving of some unfinished business, okay, and making a decision, okay, and you'll be surprised. Okay, let's move this out of the way here. Okay, so I'm gonna straighten this out here, move this out of the way. Okay. All right, so you can see a naivete, slow walking, overanalyzing about communication, immaturity, page of swords energy. Someone felt like they weren't able to see the whole picture. They, they had to think outside of the box. It's a little bit different from their usual type or expectations. Okay, so is Cancer's love interest? The one they're here for? The one they're about? What does Cancer's love interest secretly want to tell Cancers? Show my cards need to see. 
show me the cards I need to see. I heard like a motorbike or someone's engine was was running really hard. So it was like almost like someone was trying to like, they want things to move forward. They may be ramming things forward. Because you can hear that, can't you? You hear it? Okay. So anyway, we see that there is some travel here going on. And we see, I want to find that strength, courage, and confidence. And we see that, what does Cancer's love interest, the one here for, the one they want to know about, what does Cancer's love interest secretly want to tell Cancer's? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. I'm trying to find the strength, courage, and confidence to come to you, to travel to you. Because I see you as my soulmate connection. I'm working on my finances, on my money, trying to build something here. I want to spend some time with you. And I want to talk with you about this. I have so much regrets about what happened and I really feel bad about this. And I want to help you out with some money or I want to receive something of unexpected value or I want some kind of positive turn of events to happen here when it comes to spending some time together. I feel so defeated about this situation. I don't know if I should stand up and fight or walk away. So it definitely looks like somebody said something. It really hurt someone's feelings. So the other person's like, I don't want to deal with you right now. I don't want to deal with you right now. We see main person and we see a sense of confusion. I want some kind of good news. I want to look ahead to the future. I want to offer you something. Pentacles have to do with money, family, children, long term. So messages of good news and happiness, great happiness. Because of concerns about lying, deceptions, or um, concern the other shoe is going to drop here. I want to heal the situation here, Cancer. I want to bring things into balance. When it comes to this isolation to separation here, tower card energy. Yeah, this isolation and separation. You are the wisest decision for me when it comes to long term. I wanted to make the best decision when it came to long term and abundance here around these losses. I was really shocked and surprised. I finally had this huge breakthrough here about your attraction, your beauty, all right? Whether they're talking about male or female here for or guys I'm talking about here cancer-wise. Also, it seems like there was some kind of, I don't know, I feel like there's like a letter here, there's communication here, something to do with uh, some kind of love letter. That's what I feel like is here. That's my intuition is telling me. And something was a brush up here. Something happened. And somebody wasn't paying attention to someone's feelings. And that's what caused the twists and turns around the situation. Okay. It was almost like a stuck and complacent energy. This person wants to tell you that they want success in love. And they feel bad about what happened. They have regrets. They're really worried and concerned about this situation and how to fix it with the Nine of Swords energy. They're like, how do I fix it? I can't even sleep at night. You have me up at night. I don't know what to do. And I've been crying, I've been upset about this. Because of abundance, abundance of worries and concerns. This has to do with money, abundance, lots of something. So it's saying lots of worries and concerns. For some of you, this person is far away. Like there's travel involved. And it's like someone's trying to get their money up so they can travel. Okay, but there's a lot of worry and concern of how to do that. And also, someone said something to the other person and it was like really hurtful. And now it's like, I don't know what to do. I'm really confused about this. And I feel really regretful about everything. I'm trying to get some kind of advice. We see a motherly energy here. It could have been this regrets around a mother situation. The mother could have said something here. Okay, or they're trying to get some kind of advice from somebody who is a nurturing and supportive energy. So far we can see there's a soulmate connection, a relationship, and I want to talk with you about socializing people involved. And I'm confused about the deceptions when it comes to this isolation or separation. 
I want some kind of massive change here because I regret this situation and getting advice, this motherly energy. I want us to be happy together, Ten of Cups. I want us to be completely happy together and to heal the situation because I know you are the best decision for me, the wisest decision for me when it comes to love and romance. Okay, so let's, let's go down the layer here, okay? And also what's the bottom of the deck here? You make me happy. There's a commitment towards an offer of love and knowledge of this letter, message, or document, an opportunity. There was an abrupt decision, sudden situation involved another person, and I want to assert myself because I have strong desires to apologize and to be happy here when the timing is right. Okay, so we see they want to tell you that they want to travel and spend some time together because they're going to receive some kind of unexpected money or something of unexpected value with the main person that there's a happiness or they want a happy energy here and to take away the isolation or separation for success and love. And they, uh, there's lots of sorrow, sadness, and depression here. Okay. So I'm finding my confidence, courage, and strength to put the effort into these regrets and feeling defeated, wanting some good news, trying to be patient for things to come into balance, making the best decisions when it comes to money, family, children, long-term. There's this mother energy, there's this abundance of worries and concerns and how to make this a complete happy situation, 10 of cups. All right, let's come back now to, okay, this blockage here, page of swords. Let's get more information. House and family is part of the blockage. Something to do with the house. As I told you, some of you guys are far away from the other person. There's a lot of chemistry and passion or uh, because of this situation, someone's not sure if there's chemistry and passion. Maybe they're naive about the situation. Okay. We see there's a lot of overanalyzing going on as the influence and a hopeful energy here and a spiritual connection that's influencing you and this person. Your advice is to communicate eight of wands, to have a meeting, spend some alone time, and to know that this person is missing you or to, to, um, to find out with this communication, are you missing me, okay? Because it's saying here, naivete, a lot of overanalyzing about communication, house and family, home, hopeful energy of alone time, lots of chemistry and passion, a spiritual connection, and someone who's missing you. Oh, don't worry, I'm going to get more advice. I like it to be a little bit more clear cut than that. All right, can I have some advice for my cancers for their romantic love life, for the highest best good, for the best possible outcome for them? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need. Two. See. You are deserving. You, like all of God's children, deserve happiness, health, and love. So they're saying, Spirit is saying you deserve this ability listen to your vulnerability feelings as they contain wisdom and inspiration and they pray for strength to focus on your priorities no matter what so there's some deserving here and you being vulnerable listen to this vulnerability and there's a lesson in this okay sometimes in relationships we want things in a perfect way. We want things to happen the way that we feel, like we have this plan in our head. Okay, it's supposed to go this way, it's supposed to go that way. But sometimes things aren't gonna be perfect. There's a recognition here to allow yourself to receive and to open your heart to love. Your blockages in this situation are about to be lifted. Be creative in your expression here towards a new beginning and a fresh start. We see the birth card energy. I'm just getting a little bit more information than that. Can I have some more advice for my cancers when it comes to the romantic love life for the highest best good, best possible outcome for them? Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need. Two. See. Don't relinquish your power. Worry is a waste of an emotion. See your value and worth. You know the truth. 
Patience is a virtue when it comes to the situation. You can have somebody help you with this to express your feelings, to make every day count because this ending is an illusion. You are never alone. Focus on the positive about the situation. Abundance is your right. So things are gonna work out. Abundance is your right. So my beautiful cancers, let's also look at your yes or no question here. All right. Positive card for yes, negative card for no for whatever cancer wants to know. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need. Two. C. Okay. Five of Swords is saying no at this time. It does show me eventually, though, you will get some good news around this situation, but some more plannings and thoughts have to be put into this. It'll happen when the timing is right. So it'll be yes when the timing is right. Right now, there's still some things yet to be decided with the Two of Swords energy in order for you to have a victory here with the Six of Wands energy. Okay. All right, my beautiful Cancers, I love you guys so much. Uh, and I do love reading my comments, guys, because I do read my comments. And I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. Um, I will see you guys another date or two. There's multiple readings you guys to go check out right now, as you know. And um, I will see you guys soon.